Hey my dudes, it's Caitlin and today I'm doing a study with me video. This is about six hours of studying in one video. I try to show you guys the apps that I use, give you some tips and tricks, and just show you how I work through it. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. So I have my new iPad and it's the iPad Air 10.5 inch and it's 64 gigabytes. It's the newest one. I think that's the third generation. It has a paper-like screen protector on it and I use the first generation Apple Pencil. So today I have a whole to-do list for this weekend and I have it divided up by subject with it prioritized for each subject. Um, the first bullet point is the most important, the le last is the least important. And then on the right hand side, I sort of did a layout for what I wanna get done for each day for the weekend. It's something new and I sort of like it so far. So I might keep doing it. Um, it's just a rough outline of what I have to do for the weekend. So for my study setup, I have my coffee and then I have Chilled Cow Lo-Fi Hip Hop Radio playing in the background. This has been my go-to for the past couple weeks. Um, it really is nice, relaxing music. Okay guys, so before we get started, I'm going to show you the apps that I use. The main app that I use is GoodNotes and I take my lecture notes in Notability and then I retake them in GoodNotes. So GoodNotes is like my final copy of all of my lecture notes and it's definitely my favorite app to use for note taking. Then Notability I use for my lecture notes and I record the audio as well and I also use it to annotate my textbooks which I'm going to do today. That is the first thing that I'm going to do. And I also do studying in Notability as well. So the first thing that I need to do today is I need to annotate my textbook for my animal behavior class. So to do this, I'm just reading through each page and I'm highlighting the key concepts. And then once I'm done highlighting, what I do is I go back to GoodNotes and I have a whole notebook that's for my animal behavior reading notes and I retake the highlighted parts in that notebook. So all I had to do was 16 pages of reading today, so it wasn't too much. I did a little bit extra. Now I am going to take a tiny break between subjects and I'm going to study my organic chemistry flashcards. So the way that I'm going to do this is I'm, I haven't gone through them at all yet since I made them, so I'm gonna go through them one time. And then for the second step, I'm going to go through them and try to write out on my iPad what I think is on the other side, like the structure or the mechanism um, for the ones that do have structures or mechanisms. And then on the right, you can see I have a pile for ones that I remembered and then other ones that I should probably study more. The memorized pile, or slight, mostly memorized, was bigger than the non-memorized, so I've been doing a good job just studying in general. Next, I'm moving on to physics because I have my physics homework due by midnight. So for physics, I use GoodNotes and this is the only notebook that's sort of messy. I really don't care about my handwriting in it. And then I use my academic website that has my um, homework problems on it. And I copy and paste the images and the text. And then I work out the problems underneath in like Slappy handwriting, like I really don't care. I just want to get physics done because I don't like physics. It's my least favorite subject. Today I worked on this problem for a really long time and it turned out that the problem was wrong. So I had to restart and I was not happy about it. <laughs> so I started a different way to do it and thought that this would work too. But it turns out this way didn't work either. So all of this was sort of just a waste of time. Um, I guess like I don't know, the homework doesn't really have to do with the class in for this class, so it sort of is a waste of time. Otherwise, I'd be saying like, I'm learning something, but I really am not um, 
physics is just like my least favorite thing to do. So after I finished this problem and figure out I did it wrong a second time, I end physics because I got really fed up and I just decided to do it later. So I'm making animal behavior flashcards. I'm not making all of them for all the lectures, but I'm just starting them. So I'm just making a few note cards in Quizlet and I really like Quizlet. I don't really like need to upgrade. I was like thinking about upgrading, but I tried the trial and I really don't think it's worth it. But if you want to add pictures, upgrading is definitely worth it. The cool thing about Quizlet is they have a lot of tools for you to actually retain the information. They have little games you can play. Um, you can just do the typical flipping of the flashcards or you can do matching, things like that. And it really helps you retain the information. So I think that it's a really valuable study tool. So next I'm moving on to organic chemistry. I have a quiz and exam coming up so I need to just go over the lecture and really dig into the information and try to remember it and just really learn it. So what I've been doing is going back through the lecture and in Notability I've been like redoing the problems from lecture and the mechanisms and right now I'm working on like naming and stuff. Um, I already finished my whole ethers section but now I'm doing epoxides. And then I go back through and correct it, and as you can see in the green, I ask questions, and I'm compiling questions to ask my professor in office hours, and um, I'll go back through my recitation notes too to like correct it in red, and yeah, I don't know, I think that this has been really useful, and I didn't completely finish this today, but I'm just glad that I started it. When I go back through, I also look up things online. So if I don't know what a pear acid is, I'll go look it up online. If I don't know how a mechanism works completely or why it works the way it does, I'll go look up um, on Khan Academy or YouTube. Um, there are a lot of resources online and a lot of videos that can really help you understand the mechanisms, which is really important. It's more important than the memorization part. I got what I wanted to done, so this is all the stuff that I got done. And as you can see, I had a couple questions for my professor, so it's good that I got those written down. And yeah, I definitely need practice on naming, so I'm glad I know that too. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I have never done one of these before, so I hope it was okay. Um, I don't know. I love you guys with all of my heart, and I will see you next week in another video. Peace out, guys.